What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Outdoor Chef Life. I'm Taku and uh, we're down in LA and we just went diving and we were looking for some white sea bass, you know, trying to get see if we could get lucky. So I'm just going to show you guys a little bit of the actual dive here. Uh, first off, shout out to my buddy Squid in Okinawa. He built me this spear gun right here. Custom built, freaking awesome. This is my first time using it. And uh, yeah, we'll get it loaded up and we'll see if we can shoot something. First we started out shallow and we're looking for species like sheephead, calico bass, or opoi, things like that. Those are the common species in Southern California. So I'm diving in LA right now. Yeah, we looked around for a bit, but uh, I didn't particularly see anything uh, anything of size that I wanted to shoot and uh, yeah you can see the little orange fish those are all called Garibaldi those are the protected species here in California it's California's state fish actually uh, so we're not allowed to shoot those but uh, after about an hour or so of diving uh, shallow we decided to head out to deeper water and try our luck at possibly getting a white sea bass in the deeper water, we're sort of just waiting and staying quiet. And if we get lucky, a school of white sea bass will come swimming around. But unfortunately, uh, we spent about an hour out there and uh, we did not get lucky. We didn't see any signs of white sea bass or, or anything else. So we headed back towards the shallows and I was following this cool little, uh, cool little fish here. This is called a zebra perch. And I was just following him along, and along the way, I saw on the rock to the left of me a keyhole limpid. And I never tried a keyhole limpid, and I've heard that they're pretty good. So I decided to take a breath and just go back down, and there's a keyhole limpid right there. And I decided to harvest that, uh, and that was the only catch that I had. So nothing too interesting in the dive, so we're going to go straight to the cooking from here. get lucky uh, but we didn't nothing too particularly exciting but I did find a keyhole limpid which I've never tried before and I heard they're really good and my buddy Mario he was diving as well and uh, he wants me to make him some sushi so I was like all right I got you bro he shot some fish I didn't shoot any fish but he shot some so we got some fish so we're gonna do that we're gonna make some sushi for him we got some rice and this rice I already washed All right, the wind's a little strong, but I think we can cook this no problem still. Cover that up, we'll let that go. 10 minutes on high heat, 10 minutes on low heat. So this is an opal eye. This old Mario shot. So we're gonna fillet this guy up, and uh, I think I'm gonna marinate this one. Let's do something different, huh? We're gonna marinate it. Yeah. All right, take the rib cage off, <laughs> cut them in half, and then uh, kind of marinate them. This whole mountain was up here. I See, this is where he got shot. It was a body yeah, shot. So we'll, just, oh, wow. so we'll just cut that out. So it's not, uh, we're not getting that bloody stuff. All right, let's make a marinade. I got soy sauce. I'm just going to put whatever I have. I got some soy sauce. Dump that in. I got some sesame oil. I'm gonna use whatever I have of that. Little olive oil. That's good. Sesame seeds? Why not, huh? Chili flakes. Oh, and a little honey. Maybe a couple spoonfuls of honey. Then mix this up. 
<laughs> oh dang, it smells good. All right. Yeah, let's just let that marinate. I'm gonna put that in the cooler. More stuff in there. I have this too. I'm gonna use this. This is a uh, Sargo, that Max shot. Oh, filleted. Never had sargo before, but Max says it's kind of like red snapper. Oh my gosh. The meat is so firm. It won't come out. Mm, there you go. No, it's too firm. I'm just going to cut it. Just cut it off. Trying to find the pin bones on it? Yeah, it's, it, it, I can find it, but it's, it's, the, 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 um, the meat is so firm that it won't come out. On the Sargo? It's, yeah, it's too fresh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, dude. <laughs> it's too fresh, <laughs> man. Less fresh. Yeah, next time, I'm trying to give me some old fish. <laughs> so what's the plan with the stuff that you put in the marinade? Uh, I'm just going to put that inside a roll. You're just gonna use the marinade and then put it in raw? Yep. Dude. Hell yeah. I have an avocado, I don't know if you want it. You have one right now? Yeah, in the car. Oh yeah, I'll take an avocado. <laughs> I like how we're just scavenging ingredients. Yeah, just whatever we have. Yeah. Actually, actually there's a community garden yeah, at the school like <laughs> Put this in the cooler. We're literally just using whatever we have. <laughs> and uh, yeah, just putting it together. We'll see how it comes out. I don't really know, to be honest, how it's gonna be, but it should be good either way. It can't go wrong. All right, got Serrano. So we had some yesterday, so. Oh, look at that. We got an avocado. Oh, perfectly ripe. What else is in everyone's car? Yeah, now I'll just put that off to the side. The rice should be done. I have the powdered sushi vinegar, so we'll just use that. All right, let's check the rice. Ah, yes, looks good. These little pots come in so handy all the time because it comes with these little paddles too. And it comes with these little bowls. It's perfect. And it has a pan too. I think I'm going to pan sear that uh, keyhole limpid. Yeah. So, I love this little thing. I've been using it for a long time. If you guys want to get one of these, links in the description. This has been, this has held up and made a lot of things, a lot of different things. Yeah, easily four or five years, just making a bunch of rice in here. Look how perfect my rice is. Outside, with the wind. That looks good. All right, put that off to the side. Prep a shallot. Why not, huh? Thinly sliced. I actually never prepped this, so I don't know what the hell is going on here. Or I just have to, maybe just have to cut it. There you go. There's the shell, keyhole limpid. There's some guts in there, it looks like, and uh, yeah. All right, interesting. Yeah, I try to keep as close to the shell as possible mm -hmm. and just move, move down and then pull the gut out and let go. 
Mm. Yeah, there you go. That looks like a weird avocado. <laughs> a weird avocado. <laughs> Looks like a weird avocado. Green egg. So that's what you told me, right? The inside? Yeah, just the guts. So just long ways. So you'll see crabs living in the Something like this. And uh, and I think I'm gonna just saute it a little bit. Ooh, it's pretty tough. Feels pretty tough. Alright, let's just throw this on the pan. Cook it a little bit. I know it's edible raw, but we'll, we'll see how it is cooked. I'll tame him up. Just lightly. We're just gonna do this lightly. Not too much. So I know it's probably easy to overcook. All right, I think I'm gonna call it right there. Just about one minute. Oh, actually, it feels softer now. Nice. Right there. I want to finish. Turn the heat off, and that's it. It feels softer. You can kind of see it too. It's a little more bouncy. Oh, look. Oh, oh, oh. Look at that. I could just cut it off. Oh, wow. I'm gonna just try a piece like that. Anybody want to try a piece of this? Oh, it's so soft. Grab a piece. I'm a, how hot is this gonna be? Uh, just burn your mouth a little. You just won't be able to taste it. Like really well. Oh. Pork fat. Yeah. yeah. Whoa, dude. That tastes like that tastes like pork fat. <laughs> Mm hmm it's so like it's not tough at all it's more like fat that's so weird I wasn't expecting that like a chunk of fat hey that's cool all right that's mostly Sargo then I'm gonna there's opal eye some shallots and I'll put some serranos on here too. Give it a little spice. Just gonna tear some pieces and it's gonna fly away. That's fine. <laughs> All right, that's good. That's good. I'll put some sesame oil. Put a little soy sauce. And we'll do some lemon juice. I think I'm going to call it. I think that's good enough. There you go. Little sargo and opoi sashimi with shallots, serranos, and shiso. All right. Order's up. Instagram pics all around. I know, right? Look at that beautiful dish. Dude. Order's up. Send me a picture. Wow. Oh, yeah, you got some. This is so good. It's good? No, oh, good. I know, right? <laughs> all day. All day, man. <laughs> Most people don't consider it worth yeah. This stuff is really good. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Thank you. Yeah, man. You're welcome. Let's make a couple rolls, too. Um. Well, you thought like opal eye is not that good? No, I just, I don't like like raw, raw fish. Oh, raw fish? Yeah, but it looks good. Oh, you liked it though? Yeah, it looks fine. Nice. Oh, yeah. So now we're going to go, time we go down there now? We're All right. Yeah. yeah. You, can you can calm down with that. Yeah, exactly. I think this might have been opal eye as well. I flayed a couple opal eye. I think because that's where I got shot. Yeah, it was opal eye. It was opal eye. So the sargo, that's the sargo that we just ate. Sargo and opal eye. That darker red one, that's the sargo. Dude, I'm gonna put the, I'm gonna put the limpids in there. Nice. Keyhole limpid and marinated opal eye. I don't have any cucumber, but yeah, we'll roll this up. I know. 
nowhere. <laughs> It doesn't. Uh, I know, right? Especially how it's nervous online. about the depth, though. I get nervous about someone. Wait, okay, hold on. Not done. Not done. I got some uh, wasabi mayo. Is it spicy? Nah, not really. You get a little tiny like wasabi kick, but not really spicy. Alright, there you go. That is, uh, hmm, what's in there? Marinated opoi with sauteed keyhole limpid, topped with avocado, wasabi, mayo, and serrano. There you go. Let's try it. Try it. Let me try this. That's sargo, very firm texture. Good, nice kick with the serrano. Mmm. Just a simple white fish, you know? Not much flavor to it. It's mostly just a texture uh, kind of thing and just really good to eat. Sashimi. Alright. Okay, we're good. I'm excited for your roll. Should we go down too? Mmm. 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 It's really good. Good? Mm hmm. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Almost pork fattiness to it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So good. Let me try one of those. Keyhole limpid. Mm, I'm excited for that. Yeah, it's different. It's very unique. The texture of the keyhole limpid is literally like you're eating a piece of fat. It's good. <laughs> Go ahead, try it, Dawson. It's kind of weird, but mm -hmm. good, huh? <laughs> that part of the keyhole was a little more crunchy. Oh yeah? Mm -hmm. mm, that part was a little more crunchy. Mm. All right, nice. Yeah, I like that one. You like that one too? That's really good. <laughs> awesome. I made like four more rolls, you know, fed it to everybody. Just uh, sliced up all the fish that we had and marinated or we just did a bunch of different ways. Whatever I had, I threw it on top or inside. Uh, but it was all good. They liked it. All good? Amazing. So good. Thank you. <laughs> awesome. All right. Good dive again. Hey, thank you guys for taking me out again. Sure. Yeah. Next time we'll get more YC bass. Yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> No, it's like not only opal eye. Yeah. <laughs> uh, all right, guys, thanks for watching. See you guys next time. Peace.